it's time for your daily tropical update. Of course, you get an update on what's happening in the tropics every single day throughout the entire hurricane season. This hurricane season and this year in general is flying by, but we've still got until the end of November to track any potential systems. And we do have some things that we are monitoring out there. So let me get right to it. Of course, we've still got about another week or so left in August, September, normally the busiest, most active portion of our hurricane season. So we are really watching any of these systems that develop, especially this time of the year, super close. I want to start off with this system now that moved away from Central America. America. It's now in the Northwestern Caribbean Sea, and this is Invest 93L. It's the one with the red X. This is the one we're most concerned about because it looks like it is going to push into the eastern Gulf of Mexico by early next week, likely by Monday and into Tuesday and Wednesday. Right now it is in the Northwestern Caribbean, and it does have a 40% chance for development over the next two days, but now up to an 80% shot for development into a tropical system, likely a tropical depression or a tropical tropical storm over the next week. So that means there's a high chance we could have a tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico by early next week as many of you are beginning school or heading back to school and heading back to work on Monday. At this point, though, the good news is that the models keep this in the eastern Gulf and likely take it up towards the Florida Gulf Coast instead of the southeastern Texas Gulf Coast. So we are going to be watching it closely, but I think at this point, it will stay away from us. There will actually be a little weak cold front heading down, so that will kind of push it away from our area. So good news for us. We are also still tracking Tropical Storm Franklin. I'll have more on what's happening with Franklin in that latest track in a minute, but I do want to talk about a couple of other tropical waves out in the central Atlantic. This one with the yellow X. We're calling it the remnants of Emily because it's what's left of what was Tropical Storm Emily. It kind of fell apart, but it may try to get its act together and develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm again. But the chances of that happening are getting lower and lower as it drifts north into cooler waters and it is expected to kind of merge with a frontal boundary over the next day or so. So now that development chance over the next two to seven days has gone down to only 10%. So I don't think we're going to have to worry too much more about the remnants of Emily. We've got Invest 92L with the orange X. That one is pushing to the north and west. That one will be pushing closer to Bermuda. And it's got a 20% shot for development over the next 48 hours and a 50% medium chance to develop into a tropical system over the next week. So still some days to watch that one, but it does have a better chance of getting more developed, getting its act together, and getting closer to Bermuda. Muta, probably not going to reach the east coast of the U.S. I want to get back to Tropical Storm Franklin because this system is still forecast to become a fairly impressive hurricane. Right now, still fairly disorganized. Of course, it moved over Hispaniola, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, brought several inches of rain and the threat for mudslides, and then it kind of brushed by the Turks and Caicos Islands. And now it's moving away from those islands, and it's drifting to the east-northeast around six miles per hour. So movement is kind of slow. But it is going to move into a more favorable environment for development over the next couple of days. So this weekend, likely remaining a tropical storm, but early next week developing into a hurricane and likely a Category 2 hurricane by Monday afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, as it brushes just to the west of Bermuda. So as a Category 2 hurricane getting close to Bermuda early next week, likely on Tuesday, impacts will definitely be felt. We're talking about some higher surf, rip current risk for Bermuda and also some rainfall, maybe some flooding potentially and some pretty strong wind. I don't think it's going to be a direct impact, but folks in Bermuda will have to keep a close eye on what's happening with Franklin, especially by Monday evening and throughout the day on Tuesday. Let's hop over to the Eastern Pacific because we still have two systems here that we're monitoring and they still have a pretty good shot for developing into tropical systems. This one farther out into the Eastern Pacific now with an 80 to 90% shot for development over the next two to seven days. So the chances are very high that that will be our next tropical depression in the Eastern Pacific. Fortunately, it is pretty far away from Mexico, so we don't expect too many impacts at this point. Now this system has a 
low to medium chance for development over the next couple of days and over the next week, but it is much closer to that southern southwestern coast of Mexico. So we'll have to really monitor this one. You can see it south of Acapulco. Movement is to the west northwest. So if this one develops, it could bring more significant impacts to that southwestern Mexican coast. So two systems in the eastern Pacific that we are continuing to monitor. Back over to the Atlantic Basin. Here are the names we've gotten through so far this season from Arlene all the way to Harold, of course, which hit South Texas earlier this week. And of course, we're monitoring Invest 93L now in the Northwestern Caribbean. If that one were to develop, its name would be Idalia. If it is the next system to get named, if not, then it would potentially be Jose or Katia if some of those systems in the Atlantic develop before that one. But these are the names we've got to get through. Potentially, if we have more systems being named, then of course we still have a ways to go in this hurricane season. So we're going to be monitoring things closely. Still expecting an above normal hurricane season. Of course, the Colorado State University forecast early August calling for the above normal season to be a good bet as we go through the remainder of our hurricane season. 18 named storms expected, nine hurricanes, four major hurricanes, and that is pretty much the same scenario, the same story coming from the latest NOAA forecast with those numbers increasing 60% shot for an above normal hurricane season. And they're calling for 14 to 21 named storms, six to 11 hurricanes, and two to five major hurricanes. So things are quiet in Southeast Texas here in Houston right now, but don't let your guard down because we are creeping closer and closer to the peak of hurricane season, which is right around September 10th. We've still got to get through really the first half of October where we still have a decent shot for something heading our way from the tropics. Then our chances start to go down pretty dramatically as we go through the end of October and November. But of course, until hurricane season is complete, we will be here tracking things closely for you day by day. So make sure you're prepared. Make sure you have your hurricane preparedness kit, everything you think you and your family may need if a tropical storm or hurricane heads our way. Make sure to go over those evacuation routes and also it's a good idea to check your insurance to make sure you have the coverage that you think you would need in case we got hit by some tropical action. Also grab our Fox 26 weather app. Lots of cool and important and pertinent information in case we do have a tropical system heading our way on there and of course your local forecast as well. So plenty to find, plenty to see. Of course, we've got our video weather forecast. Anything weather related that you need, you can find on our Fox 26 weather app. Just head to the App Store and it is a quick download. All right, that is your tropical update for your Friday. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy your evening and have a great weekend.